People perceive disability as a weakness, as an illness, as something that needs to be cured, and we have to fight against that. Someone said, what's wrong with you? And I was like, what's wrong with me? What's, what's wrong with you? Like, I'm, I'm fine, man. I don't got any problems. I'm RJ Betty. I, uh, I am an actor. I've been on a number of shows, um, such as uh, Breaking Bad and Switch to Birth. I was diagnosed with cerebral palsy around three. I um, was in a lot of physical and occupational and speech therapy. I was what you would call a severe toe walker. What they would do is they would bend my foot as far as they could bend it, which was not fun, and they would cast it. And every some couple of weeks, I would cut the cast off and bend it further, and then bend it further until the foot was flat. I'm always working at taking control. It's a fight. It will always be a fight. I was born in Jackson, Mississippi. I was around 12, 13 years old when I moved to L.A. I started acting to meet kids my own age. I was just uh, doing extra work and acting classes and it just kept evolving. And about six months later, uh, I booked Breaking Bad. And really the breakdown for, for the character was, uh, it was dark hair, uh, big eyebrows and mild cerebral palsy. That was my life, except for the methamphetamine. I didn't know at the time, but my character was based on a, uh, a real person that Vince Gilligan, the creator and, and writer of Breaking Bad, knew in college. I think it's really important that we have real stories on television and film that are having real impact. People are hungry for realism. They're hungry to see characters like them. And I think that's what was really important with Breaking Bad. It showed characters that everyone can relate to. How else can people with a disability or a condition remove the stigma of not being able-bodied? Don't hide your disability. Don't hide whatever it is that you're hiding. And I'm not just talking about physical disability. I'm talking about mental disability. I'm about to show who you are and what you are to the world. I've tried to avoid being uh, an advocate and a spokesmodel and all these different things. But the more you try to avoid doing it, the more I found myself in the middle of it. <laughs> I do a lot of philanthropic stuff. I sit on a couple of boards, set up my own uh, anti-bullying campaign called Cut the Bull. I'll be um, broadcasting for Channel 4 out of the UK for the Paralympics. So I'll be reporting and broadcasting in studio and on the ground. I'm really excited to see what's going to happen and, and what I'll learn and who I'll become. I'm lucky that I can be an advocate. I'm lucky that I can do what I do and talk to the people that I get to talk to. And I think we all have an obligation to have an impact for the positive to uh, the media and to what we present ourselves as and to the impact that we can have because there is a tremendous uh, hole that is missing in that, that market of uh, positive and important uh, outcomes.